Vem cá me chegar Aqui do Xochote Que Vem mulher e lua Amen. As you come on board, kindly might to share at the broadcast. Uh, bring one, two, three people in your camp on board. Share with somebody, call them, uh, wake somebody up. Uh, let us uh, move together by the grace of God and hear what the Lord has in store for us at the end of a month hallelujah god is so so faithful he is amazing god is amazing and we really thank him for what he is doing and what he's accomplishing it's amazing hallelujah he is amazing and we really uh, appreciate him for what he is doing in our generation in the name of jesus hallelujah Jehovah is God. Jehovah is God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, of Jesus. Man of Jesus. As you come on board, might to share at the broadcast. Let us reach out to as many people as we can. Bring somebody on board with you. Let us share uh, what the Lord has in his store for us in this particular moment. And the name of the Lord will be glorified. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. You are worthy, worthy. Shield, 
Hallelujah. You are Lord. As I was trained and I was sure this morning. Hallelujah. You are our strength and our shield. Job of God, we give you praise. We worship as you come on board. You can begin exalting him, adoring him with me, and glorifying his holy name. Him alone is good. He has done it for us. He has been faithful, my God, from the beginning of the year until now. So many things have happened. Many things have transpired, but the Lord has preserved served our lives. He has preserved our destinies. And so we praise him. We exalt him. We honor him. We adore him. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. And we are declaring as the month of March is coming to an end, depending on the variation of our calendars, as the month of March is coming to an end. That is the way a season has come to an end. The first quarter of year 2024 is carrying away you know, with it. Well, Whatever has troubled us, whatever has been a hindrance, any kind of a stubborn block that we have encountered in our lives, all those things are becoming a thing of the past by the masses of God in the name of Jesus. And so what we are going to see from this hour is the faithfulness of God. I told you the other day, we are going to celebrate the faithfulness of God in the land of the living. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we love you. We love you. Love you. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Lord. We exalt your holy name. We honor you. We love you. We call you the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Great I am. My Jehovah, it was a night like this, a day like this, a season like this. When my Jehovah God, you brought someone like Mordecai to a shifted season. And my God, as my father, you spoke to us yesterday, he woke up just, you know, and went, uh, you know, about the gate where he used to work and my job he did not know that you had prompted the king and to peruse the books of chronicles the records were there and my job within a tinkering of an eye the destiny of Mordecai had been shifted to something different for the glory and honor of the name of the Lord father I decree that my job as we are stepping in my job at the end of the month of March this is how how issues and matters that have not been favoring us, that have not been honoring us, that have not received us and accepted us, oh God, they are becoming a declare. King of all glory. There has to be a change for better. There has to be a moving forward. There has to be an increment. There has to be growth, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We decree it, even my Father, as we exit this gate of, uh, of March, and my Jehovah enter the, the, the new gate, my Father, of the month of April, year 2024. We are declaring that God, you are an all time, my Father, you are our all time help. You are our source. You are our Father. We decree Jehovah Redeemer that we shall celebrate your faithfulness in the land of the living. Father, we worship you. We give you praise. We honor your name. We adore you. Hallelujah. In the beauty of your holiness. My God, these are social media platforms. These are social media setups. My Jehovah, we are taking charge of the sons of God. My Father, we are stepping on these clouds. And Jehovah, we are stepping, my Father, in them. My Father, by your name. And Jehovah, God, we are declaring, we are seated even as we minister through them. We are seated with the Christ in heavenly places. Job of God, we decree and declare, we are stepping on them, my God, in our right positioning as the sons of God. And my Father, the one that is ruling and reigning in us is greater than the one that is ruling in this world. And so, my Father, we dominate, we take charge. We are the people in charge right now. My Father, anywhere this world is going to be seen, my Jehovah, my face and my body, whatever they watch it, what they watch it, my father. I decree even for my audience right now, we are safe and secure in your presence. And the blood of Jesus is speaking better things in the name of Jesus. My God, we are taking charge even as we minister and gather together because we are gathering in your name. That God, our household and where my audience are watching me from, we are safe and secure in your presence in the name of Jesus. My God, it 
it does not matter the altars that are controlling this media uh, media platforms uh, Jehovah God we decree and declare as we gather we are the people in charge we are the people in charge the Katalamazia we are the people in charge we are sons of God my God this media are operating in the earth that is my father that is our fathers my God the earth and the fullness therein belongs to our father and so we are the legitimate sons we are authorized we are legal rikayata rama zikayandolobozia any monitoring spirit my god on any social media platform we are ministering on tonight my Jehovah, it cannot affect us in anything because lord we are in charge in the name of jesus and so father i thank you for the moment you are going to allow us to minister together this night my god we gather here to celebrate my Jehovah the crowning of a season that Jehovah Redeemer you have enabled us to come to a net of my father in the name of Jesus father we thank you we worship you we give you the glory we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ in Babylon my Jehovah Daniel is praying calling upon your name and Jehovah God we give you praise because even in these social media platforms we are using them to propagate your agenda in in our generation in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you the glory. Let them trust of you and my Father bring right. My Jehovah, let it come forth with, uh, with, with, with a healing. Let it come forth with everything that my God is ordained of our destinies in our now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Receive all the glory, Lord, and receive all the worship. I shield my life and everything about my life by the blood of the Lamb of God, and I decree your wellness even as I minister to the nations of the world in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Receive all the glory, Lord. Receive every worship. Receive all adoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Amen. We thank God for, for the grace and the ability he has given unto us. Happy to see all of you. We are excited that the Lord has carried us through for some days. We have been on and gathering for some days and we really appreciate God for his faithfulness and mercy in the land of the living. We really appreciate the Lord for his faithfulness and mercy in the land of the living. It is all about him. Jehovah God has remained very very, very faithful, and we appreciate him for what he has done and what he is doing in this hour. In the name of Jesus, I, 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 I request you by the mercies of God as you join up with me, uh, share the word of God, reach out to somebody, bring somebody on board, don't sleep, keep me company, I have something from the heart of God, a download from the heart of God. I share this broadcast, wake somebody up. It is good when you have received it, you know, first heart, it is very, very very good when you have received it uh, you know first heard it is very very good and I do this in boldness and also uh, with much humility as a son of God hallelujah in the name of Jesus I want us to go to the word of God in the book of Psalm Corinne I see you are there you can begin uh, giving us the scripture Psalm 26 Psalm 26 uh, Psalm 26 and, uh, and verse 11 and 12 Psalm 26 and verse 11 and 12. So I'm there. I'm going to read the scriptures. Psalm 26, verse 11 and 12. Oh, so the Bible says, Psalm 26, verse 11 and 12. The Bible th says, as for me, I will walk in my integrity. This is David. He's making a confession here. As for me, I will walk in my integrity. That means you can have your personal integrity. This is what we are seeing in Babylon for, for, for people like Daniel, Shaddat, Meshach, and Abednego, personal integrity. And I, I keep on asking the church, have you ever asked yourself, why was Daniel you know, uh, fixed alone? Why was Daniel thrown in the den of the lion alone? And, and the others were three. Why was he, you know, uh, uh, the king would have done it justice, you know, two, two, two down the den of the lion and two in the fire. Why was Daniel thrown alone? The magnitude of your of your assignment, the magnitude of your fear, I mean of your warfare is a reflection of the kind of a vessel that the Lord is molding. Hallelujah. And you realize when you read the, the book, I mean the word of God in the book of, of, the, of Daniel or when you read at the scriptures, it is only Daniel. Shatak and Mishak, their books were not written, but the book of Daniel is there. Hallelujah. So you want to be 
famous, you want to be known, you want to become great. Let me check around you the magnitude of your warfare. Hallelujah. Now check the magnitude. The Bible says, as for me, I will walk in the integrity, uh, in my integrity. Redeem me and be merciful to me. As I walk in my integrity, Lord, redeem me and be merciful to me. The other thing, uh, the Bible says in verse 12, my foot starts in an open place. And I, my foot starts... Uh, in an even uh, in an even space or in an even uh, praise, the Bible says, "In the congregations, I will praise the Lord." Hallelujah! So the key things I want us to see here is somebody's integrity, walking in somebody's integrity. It is a personal integrity. It's a personal integrity. The other thing is that uh, you know our feet are able to start in an even praise, in, in an even praise or in an even uh, you know space of praise. Hallelujah! That means we are able to have you know to to to. to be undivided in our decisions or in our doings, we are able to remain undivided in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, in that, when you read the word of God, in the book of Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10, uh, this is a scripture we know, many of us, we know the scripture, we can even, uh, uh, you know, just uh, speak of it of it. Um, I have some things from the heart of God, so kindly uh, come on board, let us, um, let us hear what the Lord has in store. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 10, this is God speaking to Jacob and he is saying, fear not as, as you maintain your personal integrity, fear not where we are coming from. So I'm connecting the scriptures. Fear not for I am with you, not I will be with you. In the book of Genesis chapter 28 and verse 15, God is promising Jacob, I will be with you. But here he's saying, I am with you. Also, I'm already here. Hallelujah. So the fulfillment of that word that I promised you in Genesis 20, uh, 28 and verse 15, is now a daddy, so I am with you. The Bible says, Be not dismayed, for I am your God. Hallelujah. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. So I want us to know in this hour, as we have come to the end of the first quarter of year 2024, God is with us. I have already, I've all, I've, uh, I mean, I have said these things before, and we are not going to be terrorized. No matter what will come on earth, we shall not be dismayed because why? The Lord God is our God. Hallelujah. And God, God is our father that means he is our source the bible says i will strengthen you no matter what the devil will try to do our strength is derived from the lord our god hallelujah the other thing the lord is promising is to help us and the other thing is he's saying is that he's going to uphold us by his righteous right hand as you come on board kindly share the broadcast let us reach out to as many uh, people as we can now uh what god has sent us even as we come uh to the end of the month of march depending on your time zone, because we are in different time zones, the Lord is asking uh, all of us, or uh, talking to us this particular night. This is the last night. Actually, um, we have crossed over in my nation. We are already in a new month. Actually, it is three minutes past. We are already in a new month. We are already here. We are already in the month of, uh, of April. So the Lord is saying, you know, there are so many things that He has promised us. There are so many things that He has said He's going to do. There are so many things. Let me tell you, when God spoke to the children of Israel and made a promise of the land that is called Canaan, the land of the promise. He did not, I have told you before, he did not carry Canaan and yet God was well able. He did not carry Canaan to bring it to the children of Israel. Hallelujah. It is them who go work with God. The Bible says we are co-workers. So the children of Israel are co-working with God to and make sure that they get to the fulfillment of the prophetic word. Hallelujah. Or the, whatever God had promised them. You know, they are co-working with him. Oh my, Hallelujah. This is what we are seeing as Mary, you know, has received a prophetic word because that is a prophetic word, the, the word that has come to inform her of, of what God has in store for her. Then now what happened to Mary is that she cooperated. She agreed with, she agreed with God and she cooperated. Hallelujah. So she's fitting in. Oh my God. Hallelujah. So this is the season we are in. So what are we supposed to do? God has spoken many things. God has, you know, prophets have been sent your way. You have written so many things one after the other. I told you the other day, if you are like me, you know, in a year I have two or three diaries for a year. My God, hallelujah. 
So if you are like me, we are writing and we are writing. Now listen to this. Now from this hour, we are going to put it down. No, we, prophetically, we are putting it down. Those things will not continue hanging up here. So we are going to do our part. Because let me tell you, church, when God has spoken his word, that word, the Bible says, it's forever settled in heaven. Number two, he's already begun the process of following that word to perform it. Hallelujah. He's, you know, even if it took 400 and that years, what God had spoken to Abraham, he already began following up that word. Because why? Uh, the word of God will never return to him void until it accomplish the purpose to which he sent it forth for. Hallelujah. So we are pulling it down. Hallelujah. We are going to push forward and we are going to pull it down. No matter what, we are pulling. My father, we are pulling that, you know, those promises down. And as I talk about pulling down, you know, it is bringing them, I want to use the Roman language, is bringing them into our, our you know, the reality of, our, of the fulfillment in our very own eyes in our own very eyes. Hallelujah. So we cannot keep on saying these things are in heaven or these things are still head of. So we are now pulling them down. Hallelujah. It's like, you know, if you have something uh, kept uh, in, in a shelf up somewhere, my God, and you want to use it, so you have to go for it. You have to put it down. You have to go for it or to bring it down. So we are bringing these promises, you know, into our reality. We are pulling them down into our reality, in our now, by the grace of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So we need to be very alert and know what is God up to. What is God up to? You can put your English there. So what is God up to? What, where are we and which season are we in? And I've always said it's like a, the season God has brought us into. It's like the season of a farmer. You know, it is time for planting. It is time. You have tilted the rod. You know, you have rebar. You have tilted the rod. This is why I'm talking to us. You know, the refine, the season of the refine. You have lived the way you are supposed to live. You have done what you're supposed to, to do. You are still praying because the Bible says, uh, you know, you know, men ought to pray without ceasing. So we are still praying. You have fasted. You have done everything you are supposed to do. So and God has spoken, and uh, you know, you feel, you know, things, those, those things He has said are not, ha, you know, have not come on. They are not coming. They are not coming down to your level. Hallelujah. This is what we are seeing. Jesus is telling Zacchaeus, "Come down in haste. I'm not the one who is going to to come to your level. It is you who is going to come down. I will not deal with you when you are up there." So what God has promised as my God, if God has spoken about your healing, it is not needed up here. We are pulling it down now. Hallelujah. We are bringing it down at our level. My God, hallelujah. Anything that the Lord has promised us, the business idea he gave you, any, any, any connection that God has promised us, we are pulling those things down in, you know, in the level of our manifestation and the fulfillment of our time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So it is such a great moment. No, uh, of great harvest, as I told us from the beginning, and this great harvest is it. I mean, is giving us great returns. You know, the great harvest is giving us great returns. You know, and uh, this one is not to everybody. This one is only to the remnants of God's people. So I want to encourage us this particular moment that our labor in the Lord has not been in vain. Our labor in the Lord has not been in vain. So our hope and our patience, you know, in this hour and our endurance, I. Are you noting those three things? Hallelujah. So our hope has kept us, you know, alive. Our, our patience. My God, some of us would have compromised here and there. You know, my God, you can look around in your life and, and see the people you walked with, but they, they cut off the journey and they decided to compromise. So our hope in the Lord, our patience and our, our endurance, my God, and this is by the help of the Holy Spirit of God, has brought us into this very time and very, very prime moment, my God, where God is doing some three things and I, I want us to know we are now because we waited on him we hoped in him and we have a jewel now God is doing some few things number one we are going to enjoy in our now beginning from this hour prepare yourself where you are opposed where there were some battles where things were not moving where things were stagnated and stuck from this hour we are going to enjoy unprecedented favor number two we shall enjoy unprecedented honor my God hallelujah the other 
thing you are going to see are results. My God, and the Lord told me, they are continuous results. My God, hallelujah. You touch this Isaac, there are results. You go here, there are results. Hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. Anywhere God is going to order ourselves, we shall have results in the name of Jesus. Number four, you know, anywhere God is going to order ourselves from this hour, we shall have solutions. We shall give solutions and we shall have solutions by the grace of God. Let me tell you, my God, magicians and the wise men cannot handle the dreams of Pharaoh in this world because why? The season has shifted. So anywhere God is taking you, Joseph, whether in a Potiphar's house, there must be your solution carrier, your solution giver. My God, hallelujah. When you encounter the butler and the baker, my God, you are graced for the season. You are a solution giver. You are the carrier. You are the one graced to interpret, my God, their dreams. Hallelujah. Pharaoh, let me tell you, my God, I may look like a slave girl. My, my brothers may have sold me, but in the season of my father, when I appear before you, I am coming as a solution in your life. Ah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, listen to me, my God. Hallelujah. Listen to me, my God. When you see me as made in the mother of Jesus in the wedding of Canal of Galilee, I am not here like any other woman. I came here as a solution carrier. My God, you cannot get stuck when Mary is here. My God, she knows where to direct you. She knows how to pave the way for the purpose of God in the wedding. In the name of Jesus, my God, shame cannot be experienced when I am here because why I came rooted with the solution of my time in the name of Jesus. And I want to encourage you from this night in the name of Jesus Christ, the knowledge that is coming from above, the wisdom from above will cause each one of us to handle things we never thought we can handle. My God, some of the utterances and the wisdom God is going to give us in this hour, it is going to be so amazing. We shall also marvel by what the Lord is doing with us and for us in this season in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So don't say you are not able. Just appear. Oh my God, just appear by the grace of God. Hallelujah. The other thing you are going to enjoy in this season is repayment, is repayment, is repayment. My God, this is what we are talking about. Um, I spoke to you about restoration and restitution, restoration and restitution and relief, restoration, restitution and relief. So there's going to be a repayment. My God, Mordecai, you did what you did. It was for God. There's a season of repayment. My God, hallelujah. And this one is coming from God. The brothers of Joseph, you saw me and you did whatever you did. It's a season of repayment. And let me tell you, that's what I read for you yesterday in the book of Ecclesiastes. So you are sins in the morning, in the evening. So, my God, because you don't know whether one or both of them will bring good tidings or will bring, uh, you know, good harvest. Hallelujah. So keep on doing it. Keep on doing what you're supposed to do. People may, may not understand you. They may not, you know, understand. By the way, we are not called to be understood by men. There is nowhere the Bible says that, that even your relatives, even your parents are going to understand you. My goodness. Hallelujah. We only have made the mother of Jesus because of the prophetic word that was about the, the life of Jesus. You know, she understood who the son is. My God. In in the name of Jesus. So, you know, we are going to enjoy repayment. We are just going to enjoy repayment. That's why from this night and whatever time it is in your country, kindly avoid carrying unnecessary baggages. I will do it. Kindly in the box me after this service, I will prophesy to your life. Now, listen to this. Um, You know, uh, you know, kindly, uh, you know, uh, avoid unnecessary baggages. You know, avoid spiritual clogging. You know, where you're supposed to dislodge, just dislodge because why? We have entered into to a season of repayment. The other number is that God has brought us into a season of remembrance. My God, hallelujah. Maybe Boshevi is not aware. My God, the butler forgot about Joseph, but this time around, nobody is going to pretend that you no longer exist. Nobody will pretend that you ne no longer prayed for them. They we cannot even pretend that you ne no longer, you know, you, you never stood with them. Now, any seed that we have sowed in the past days, my God, lying on the floor, interceding for the destinies of people, my God, you know, walking, you know, you know, living, you know, and laboring, whatever God has, you know, in whichever area God has called you. I came to save as we come to the end of this month, and we have come to the end of it, and enter into the second quarter of year 2024. There shall be remembrance, and this is where I'm saying, kindly, when somebody calls you and you do not, you know, finish, I mean, you know, you do not part ways well with that person, do not ignore them because why the Bible 
Bible says when a man always praises God, even his own enemies will be at peace with him. This is where we are going to see people are being commanded by God. It is him who is prompting them. My God, they will even be given some things and God will tell them, uh -uh, this one is not yours. Take it to so and so. My God, this is not your blessing. You are just, you know, a custodian. You are, you are you know, God, I have just used you to receive it, but this one is, it is on transit. Take it to so and so. Hallelujah. So I'm preparing. They will knock at our door. My God, they will knock at our door. Some of them even blocked us and they even deleted our numbers, but they are going to begin looking for those bosses who stopped you from working in that company because you refuse to compromise the standard of your faith. Let me tell you, my God, hallelujah, the God of Daniel, who is causing the king not to enjoy entertainment in a whole night. The Bible shows me the king could not even eat the whole night. My God, is the same God who is with us today. My God, the king gonna come down. It is not Daniel who is going up. It is the king who is coming down. Hallelujah, my goodness. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I told you that yesterday, you know, this time around, Esther just appeared before the king. If you have sorted your matters with the king of kings, my God, the other king cannot kill you. Whether he has summoned you or not, he has no authority to, to destroy you. He has no authority to hurt you. The king of the king of this world is not about the king of kings. Hallelujah. So he has to, uh, to fit in. Because let me tell you, it is not about the season of the king of this world. It's about the season of Esther and the king of kings. Hallelujah. So what Esther is supposed to do is just appear. If you have prayed, ask the spirit of God, what do I do? Where do I appear? Where, what do I say? Who do I call? My God, hallelujah. And the favor is there. Let me tell you, they may have, they may have ignored your cause before, but in the season of remembrance, whether Zippa you like it or not, this one is ordained of God. Whether you know the weakness of the son, you know the remnant of the house of the of the of the house of Saul or not. It's not about the weakness. It's about the season that God has introduced to us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So this is the matter of the king. This is a matter of the king, and the king of this world has been commanded by the king of kings. So Ziba, your misrepresentation, eh, eh, you know, eh, eh, no, has no meaning here. You know, it is not warranted. It has no meaning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So repayment, thank you, my sister Grace. Repayment number five, you know, we are going to enjoy remembrance. Remembrance, I prepare you from this night. Oh my God, there are people you stood with, they forgot. My God, there are people you could Right, for men and women of God. There are people you raised, there are people you have rebelled for. My God, but when they began driving big cars, they saw you are not relevant anymore. Let me tell you, hallelujah. Let the new man be my sister. Let me tell you, my God, God is waking people up on our behalf in the name of Jesus because the matter of this hour has nothing to do with us. As you know, it's a season God has brought because in all those times and season. Let me tell you, Esther is not even aware. Oh no, that Vashiti is misbehaving. She's all aware it is a season of God because why it is about it is about the purpose that God preordained for each one of us in the name of Jesus and this is what I'm seeing in the spirit my brethren as I minister to you I'm seeing the angels push us forward my God this is what we are seeing Mordecai hearing that the virgins are needed you know to replace her you know for shit so what do we see somebody comes in to push you to the destiny that God ordained for you I see the angels my God God, waking some of us and telling us dress this way, appear here, my God, that is where your husband, your wife is appear here, that is where your job is and I'm preparing us for something that God will even begin dropping names, begin dropping names of places and people in our spirit in the mighty name of Jesus, God will begin, so my brethren I hear the Lord say, tell my people it's not just sleeping like any other person, sleep and be alert in the spirit because let me tell you God will begin giving us solutions in our dreams and in our visions. We are going to hear angels instruct us. My God, hallelujah. The God who is sending an angel in prison to get to, to open the doors for Peter is the same God we are worshiping today. He is going to order our steps, my God, and tell us, go here, talk to this person. Some of these places you, you have wanted to do a job. Let me tell you, God will tell you, don't even talk to the secretary. Go direct to the CEO. My God, you have no explanation when they ask 
you do have an appointment. Yes, some of them, God has given me an appointment. Hallelujah. And let me tell you, just like Esther, because it is time when you appear there, that CEO, he may be ignoring all other people, but he cannot ignore you. Hallelujah. We have testimonies when God has told you to appear, you just appear. And you ask, when God tells you dress well, you just ask in the school of God, what is dressing well according to you? I, I remember how I got to school for one of my children. You know, how, how is dressing well? And you appear there, the secretary is asking you, 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 don't, you can't come here with an appo without an appointment. I told her, I have no appointment of a physical man. The appointment I have is of the Holy Spirit. So I'm here. <laughs> Hallelujah. The rest is history. So we are going to enjoy repayment. We are going to enjoy remembrance. And the last thing I've been telling us from the beginning is reward. So we have entered into a season of reward. And I want to encourage because the Spirit of God is already confirming that in my spirit, in my spiritual world, I want to confirm to you that our labor in the Lord is not in vain. You may have nothing physically to show, but let me tell you, if you have waited on God, our reward moment is here. And I told you two days ago, we have entered into a season of testimonies. My God, you have listened to other testimonies. You have read books about people's testimonies. Let me tell you that God who was with Abraham, you know, he's about to visit our houses, visit our businesses, and show forth, you know, show forth his strength for our sake in the name of Jesus. So it is all, you know, it is about those, um, you know, who have, who have gone through uh, God's own purpose because God has brought us into a season of divine orchestra. Let me tell you, Joseph is not aware what is happening. Esther is not aware. It's the season that God has brought them into. So it is about divine orchestrations. This one has nothing to do with us. That's why Isaiah 41 and uh, I mean Isaiah 41 and uh, 14 verse 21. The Bible is showing us now people will see. They have to see. And at the end of the day, they will consider and understand. This is the heart of God. Hallelujah. So this is purely the heart of God. We are in the heart of God. So what God is accomplishing is such a quick work. So I'm preparing you. I'm preparing you for the speed of God. I have said this before, but now the time is here. So it's about a quick work. I'm preparing you for a quick work. Hallelujah. Now it's about the remnants of God's people and what God is doing with us is causing us to stand out. Where God is going to order yourselves. Let me tell you, Esther is standing out. She was not the only virgin girl, but she's standing out. Hallelujah. She's standing out. Come on, somebody. My goodness. Hallelujah. She's standing out. My God. My Jehovah. There were so many people. My God. There were so many people during the time of Gideon. There were so many people during the time of Joseph. There were so many. The magicians and bra bra. There were so many people you in the time of Daniel. You remember Nebuchadnezzar. There were so many. But whatever is born of God is overcoming the world, my God. And we, because of that, we are going to start out. Let me tell you, anywhere, God is going to order you. I said, thank you, Stephen son. God bless you so much. I've seen your message. Now we are going to start out. We are going to start out. Hallelujah. We are going to start out in the name of Jesus. Now, listen to this. Everything in this hour must be done in the spirit of excellence. Everything in this hour must be done. Let me tell you, it's not just a grocery. That grocery, even if you have given it a prophetic name and there is no excellence in it, my God, hallelujah, it is going to let us down in this season. So any, I hear the spirit of God say, any undertaking of this hour must be given a backup by your touch of excellence. Hallelujah. We shall do our services with excellence. It's not just a prayer. I know the spirit of God is leading us, my God. But let me tell you, there is going to be excellence. He's, God is a God of all. There is going to be excellence. My God, hallelujah. When we appear, when we anything about us, there is going to be excellence. And I hear the Lord say, my God, our God is even changing the countenance of so many of us. My God, hallelujah. Changing the dressing code, the changing the in, <laughs> hallelujah. Everything, everything about us. This is what we are seeing. People like Esther, people like Joseph, when God has brought them into such kind of a moment, what do we see? There's a change of everything. I hear the Lord say it's a change. It's a change. The divine change is, is, is affecting them or being affected upon their lives all around. The dressing, the location, every, the food and every 
there. This is what we are seeing with the I mean, maybe Bosheti. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Do you think God gave assignment to Gideon and he remained the same? No. You know, he, he, you know, even the kind of, of, of the strength he has to deal with the goals of his fathers. This cannot be the same Gideon. Hallelujah. So uh, we are going to start out. The other thing is that the excellence, the excellence, and this excellence is coming with a touch of wisdom that is coming from above. You know, Gideon is not dealing with the goals of the fathers during the day. Wisdom, hallelujah, to, to, to avoid unnecessary warfare and unnecessary battles. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. So God has promised that, that, that the path, yesterday that is what he told, that the path that is leading uh, to, his, uh, to, his, to his preordained purpose, it is already clear. My God, it is already clear. So Esther, you're not competing with anybody. Joseph in Egypt, you're not competing any, but with anybody. What you can handle now, nobody can handle. So there is no cardinal. There is no, uh -uh. you can put the name there you, you want to put. So whichever position God has given you now, your, your space, I hear the Lord say, your space is very is, is very secure. Your space is very secure as a son of God. Hallelujah. Now, if you read the word of God in the book of Psalm 25 and verse 10, the Bible says, all the paths of God, all the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth. The paths of God are mercy and truth. So in this hour, as we enjoy the cleared path of the Lord or the paths of God in our lives, I want us to know it is about mercy and truth. That means we shall not stumble. We shall not not stable. The Bible says to such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. We are the people who are keeping his covenant and his testimonies. So the path that God has created or the paths that are created as far as our destinies are concerned, they are compromised of two things, the truth and the masses of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. That means my brethren, even if it is sunny in the world, then you know, like what we are seeing in the, Genesis, in the book of Genesis chapter 26, we shall enjoy the accomplishment of the purpose of God in our now. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Now, being sons of God, I want us to know, you know, um, I have kept these things at my fingertips. You know, I, I had it somewhere many years ago, and today I was just preparing, you know, the Spirit of God told me, wow, this is now the time for this. Now, listen to this. Being sons of God, I, I, that is where I began from day one. Go back to those videos you are going to see. Being sons of God in this hour, that means we are legally as the Kayandolobo Zaya. We are legally marited by God, my God. God, hallelujah. We are authorized. We are authorized to transact his businesses. My God, we are authentic. My God, we are not the Ishmael. We are the sons of the promise. That is what God spoke to us yesterday. Hallelujah. We are legitimate. So we are heirs. My God, we are heirs. My God, hallelujah. So I want you to know that you are a legitimate son of God. So you are not looking for the inheritance. It will be given. It will be given, my God, in this hour. My God, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, uh, for Ishmael and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, you know, and, and the other sons of concubines, the children of concubines, Abraham is giving gifts, but for Isaac, he gave all what he had. So the inheritance of Abraham, the father, was to be given or, or, or was taken by the legitimate son. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. So that means, my brethren, we can now freely co-work with our father to transact his businesses in our now. We cannot transact his businesses in our now here on earth. So we are legal. Hallelujah. My goodness. In the name of Jesus Christ. That means, my brethren, from this hour the Lord is saying, we are bringing down or we are pulling down into the, the reality or the manifestation, you know, the real manifestation or the tangible manifestation of our now inheritance. So we shall not just be saying, you know, about heaven and uh, where we are seated with the guys in heaven and praises so whatever is supposed to, be, to happen to us here on earth, it is now going to happen in our now. No, it is now going to happen. So we are pulling it down, you know, to our manifestation. We are pulling it down, you know, to our, uh, to our joy. We are pulling it down, you know, to our convenience. Hallelujah. We are pulling it down, you know, to, to our comfort. Hallelujah. So whatever God has promised us, you know, Abraham, 25 years are over. My God, so there has to be, uh, you know, uh, that son that God promised me, that, that son has to be born now. So there has to be a physical manifestation or physical fulfillment of that word in our now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So it has to be. So we are, we are, we are pulling it down as we co work with him. There has to be tangible manifestation. There has to be tangible fulfillment. 
in the name of Jesus, of that which God has purposed, of that which God has preordained, and what God has predetermined by his masses in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So from this hour, now can you sit back? Let me also sit properly. Now from this hour, now this is what uh, we are going to begin hearing. This is what we are going to begin hearing from this hour. My God, hallelujah. Now, I want you to write, I want you to write uh, Pauline and everybody who is uh, with me there. Kaidre, note these things down for the others who are going to join up with us. Kaidre, um, note these things down. So from this night, as we have come to the close of the month uh, of, of March, that now the first quarter of year 2024 and as we enter the month of april which we have already entered in my country i want us to notice uh the things that are going to happen so number one these are things we have reading from the scriptures you know we have been reading these things from the scriptures but now they are going to become a reality in our now in the name of jesus christ so we are going to confess you know we are going to begin confessing like what job is confessing so we are going to say i have heard you know, by the hearing of the ear, but now my eyes sees you, or my eyes have seen you. So these are kind of the confessions we are going to have from this particular night. And as we have entered in this second quarter of year 2024, these are kind of confessions. Somebody will tell you, I have seen God. You know, I had God did it in the U.S. I had God did it in Australia. I even read a book of uh, people like, uh, you know, Leonard Bonke, the rate, my God. But I have also seen God. So we are going to see our God in our now. So the, the, the things you're going to hear, even as you encounter with the other brethren, somebody was, wow, my sister, I had God. You know, the God of Hannah who breaks barrenness. My God, he has done it for us. So I'm not just hearing. I have seen him. Number two, we are going to hear things like, uh, you know, we are going to hear things that, that you know, once God, uh, I mean, once God has spoken, but twice we have heard him, hallelujah, that victory belongs to him, because why God is going to give us the victory, he's going to serve us that victory, so we are going to say, wow, I have heard God once, My, I mean, I have, I mean, God has spoken once, and twice I have heard him, you know, saying this through this prophet, saying this through the, I mean, through another prophet. But now, my God, victory is in my hands. Hallelujah. Victory belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Number three, the other thing you are going to hear is that, uh, you know, of the confession we are going to have in our now. You know, uh, where there was a casting down, Jehovah God has, br has brought me into a lifting or there is a lifting. You know, I was so cast down by Jehovah. January, February, March, and April, I mean February and March, you know, the, the past many years of my life, you know, my life has been so cast down, but now there is a lifting. That means my brethren, you know, I went to Shiro, I have been telling you this, I went to Shiro, Hannah will say, you know, we are going to confess like Hannah, I went to Shiro, full of mockery, full of bitterness, she's even confessing and telling the prophet, I mean the prophet or the man of God in the temple, you know, I'm pouring my heart in bitterness or in, 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 in you know, in the bitterness of the soul, of my soul, my soul is in bitterness. Hallelujah! But by the time you know that casting down or in, in her life, by the time she is finishing the mission of Shiro, my God, she's going back. You know, reconnecting with the family. Her life is lifted up. Her countenance is changed. So there is a lifting, and I want each one of us to know this is not the operation of any man. This is not the op and that's why I'm preparing us as you continue with this season. I want you to know there are people. Going God is clearing from your way. The people who are not speaking the language of your faith, the people who are not going where you are going, the people who are not you know, honoring or receiving you for who you are, even if it is a business partner, I prepare you even this particular morning, there shall be a separation. Hallelujah. People who are causing you strive, people who are causing you strain and struggle, my God, there shall be a separation in this hour, in the name of Jesus Christ. So where there has been, a, I mean, there has been a casting down my God, hallelujah, where, you know, issues of life have weighed any one of us down, there shall be a lifting from this hour, so that is another confession in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, now I want us to know, I know there's another confession, I, I don't know, somebody's not typing those things down, so there's going to be another confession as you interact with the people and also, as you also continue growing this season, now the Bible says in the book of Job chapter 14 and verse 7, when a tree, you know, is cut down, a tree, it is true, you know, life issues can bring you down. And this is what we are seeing with the story of somebody like Mevibosheti. This is what we are seeing with 
that but you know with someone like him maybe Boshevi let me tell you it is true tell your neighbor it is true I am rain in both of my legs it is true my God that physical inability is there hallelujah but let me tell you my goodness the Bible says you know that that trunk that is left you know has roots and by the smearing of the water those roots are able now to bring life, to bring back life to the trunk and that trunk is able now to uh, you know to to bud afresh or to sprout out afresh hallelujah so in the season we have entered into despite where we are coming from and the heat backs and the setbacks of life my god there shall be a sprouting out afresh be businesses ideas visions and uh, you no know, dreams and whatever my god is going to be a comeback there's a bouncing back in this hour in the name of jesus and i'm preparing you from this night kindly don't relate to the people the way you knew them yesterday don't deal with the people with what you have had because let me tell you it's just a matter of a moment my god somebody encounters the touch of the holy spirit and they become new people my god hallelujah in the name of jesus my god so there is a sprouting a fresh is a, a sprouting of and the Bible says that that new bird will never cease. That new bird will never cease. Thank you, my prophet. You know, there's a bouncing back. There's a hear the Lord say, and I'm, I'm the one who is releasing the new energy. Ah, uh Zikai and the Lord was here. My God, there's a bouncing back with the new energy that is coming from the Lord in the name of Jesus. That's why we began by reading Isaiah 41 and verse 10. Do not be dismayed. Hallelujah. I will strengthen you. I will uphold you. My God, the Lord is doing it. In the name of Jesus Christ, that, that the confession we are going to hear in this hour is that uh, we have overcome. I told you the other day, we had that uh, the other day. You know, we are going to overcome. The blood of the lab is already there. And number two, we are going to have testimonies. Let me tell you, my brethren, I'm preparing you in your house, in your business, in your ministry. You have read about the testimonies of other people. I'm preparing you for your own personal testimonies. We shall have testimonies. And I want to decree as a prophet of God by the masses of God from this hour, my God, in your houses, in your ministries, in your finances, everywhere, all out in the lives of your children. Let there be testimonies in the name of Jesus, my God, because why the victory of this hour is so much connected with the testimonies. My God, the blood of the Lamb is already a done deal. The other thing we are going to, uh, to, 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 I mean, to, I mean, the other thing that is going to give us victory of our, of our coming in this hour are testimonies. And that is why you see in the, in the, in the land of the Philistines, where in the book of Genesis chapter 26, my God, God is giving Isaac testimonies. Have, you know, planting in a season of famine and harvesting the same year a hundredfold. That is enough testimony in the eyes of wickedness in the eyes of the heathen. Hallelujah. That is enough testimony. And I want to prepare you from this hour. Testimonies will be flowing like water. My God. Hallelujah. In our interactions and in our encounters from this hour, testimonies will be the order of the day. Hallelujah. We have heard of things that God did before. So in our days, he's going to do exceedingly abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The other thing we are going to see and to confess and to, I mean, to be a part of uh, you know, you know that, that we are going to have this kind of a scenario in John chapter 11. You know, there was dead case here. There was dead case here. Lazarus, afraid of, of, of the Lord, is dead. So the Lord is saying, God is bringing back to life the things that died and they are meant to be alive in our destinies. They are going to be, to be, you know, they are going to, there's a famine, things that died, the business ideas, the connections, and all that. Anywhere that is dead and it is not supposed to be there, my God. There's got to be life. Hallelujah. There's a coming back to life. There's a coming back to life, my God. Hallelujah. Anything that is supposed to resurrect in this hour, it is going to resurrect because why? Finally, the one, this is what we are seeing in John chapter 11. Finally, my God, Mary and Martha, you have prayed, you have waited, you have even gone to an extent of shutting the doors of your business and throwing you know, away the tiles. You cannot do the ministry anymore. But finally, the, the one who is resurrection and the one who is alive has now come. I want to say, according to the word of God, when the acceptable time of God has come, as it has come for us right now, there are some shifting, you know, that has to be affected by him. And that's why I'm talking to us about divine orchestrations. This one has nothing to do with any one of us. This is the working of God himself. Hallelujah. This is the working of God. My goodness. Oh my, hear the Lord say, the resurrection has finally come. 
The resurrection has finally come. I'm preparing you. The giftings of the Spirit of God in your life. My God, the vision that God had showed you about your ministry and your life. Anything that you had conceived in the Lord and it died in the course of your life. From this night, what you're going to see one after the other is coming back to life. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So the other confession that is going to be there, even as we interact with other brethren, what you're going to hear. Hallelujah. Oh my God, that the word of God that came forth has healed all my diseases. Oh, Psalm 107, the word of God of this season has healed all my diseases, any kind of infirmity. And I'm talking about physical, spiritual, you know, it is an all-out thing. So the word of God of this season and what we have, have heard about God before is going to bring, you know, healing. Uh, you know, healing. Hallelujah. It's going to bring healing. The other confession that is going to be there. Hallelujah. Is for every trouble that we have encountered in our past years. My God, ask Joseph, ask Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They are not applying for any promotion, but for any trouble that you have had before in your life, there is going to be, you know, double pay, double reward, double honor. Hallelujah. So there's going to be double of everything, you know, a repayment, a reward, you know, uh, you know, whatever. You can put whatever you want to put there for every trouble in the name of Jesus Christ. So these are some of the confession you are going to encounter with the people in here. My God, it was this way, but now my Jehovah, I'm enjoying double of what I thought I have lost. My business is now giving me double profit. My God, hallelujah. So for every trouble, there's going to be double of the visitation from on high by the grace of God. Hallelujah. The other thing we are going to hear you know, as we interact with each other is that the Lord, finally, tell your neighbor, my neighbor, finally, God has prepared a table for me in the presence of my enemies. The kind of love was here. Psalm 23, my God, hallelujah. Psalm 86 and verse 17, show me a sign of your goodness. My God, hallelujah. So God is going to prepare tables for the remnants of his people. Those bosses, my God, who are giving people promotions because they are sleeping with them here, you know, and there. And I want to make a warning. I want to make a warning with every believer who is going to watch this word locally and internationally. My brethren, I want to make a warning. Church of Jesus Christ, can you stop sexual sins? I was told by somebody the other day in the city of Nairobi that lodgings of a lunch hour in the city are fully booked. Lodgings in the city of Nairobi over lunch hour are fully booked. My God, hallelujah. Now, I want to make a warning to the church of Jesus Christ. Kaitre, if you are not married, avoid the sex outside marriage. It is sin. Even if you are looking for a promotion, wait on God. You cannot sabotage the process of God in your life. You know, who are in these lodges, you know, over lunch hour? Who are in these lodges over lunch hour? What is happening? Hallelujah. So I'm warning. I'm making a warning. Let me tell you, sexual sins will take you to hell. That is a short-lived pressure. It will take you to hell. That is the last of the flesh. It will take you to hell. Even if you hid from your husband and wife and you went into a lodging over lunchtime and evening you go as if you have done nothing. Let me tell you, you have hid yourself from a man, but God is seeing you. God is, whether you, let me tell you, anywhere you do sex, thinking that you are hiding in a room and in a lodge, let me tell you, God is seeing you. God is watching. These bodies are temples of God. You cannot be reading us in praise and worship here and there and then you are hiding in lodges. Let me tell you, church, this thing, this thing, sexual sins will take you to hell. Sexual sins will take you to hell. Hallelujah. Now listen, so there will be double for every trouble. God is preparing a table, or God has prepared a table for me in the presence of my enemy. Now listen to the other. The other confession we are going to hear is that I waited on God patiently. This is what David is saying in the book of Psalm chapter 40. You can read all of it, Psalm chapter 40 from verse 1 to 9. I waited on God. So we are going to, to hear much of this from the church of Jesus Christ. You know, my brethren, you know, wait on God. Don't compromise. As I sit here as a woman, in the world, I can tell every woman out there, I am a mother of two children, my God, hallelujah and I'm counting years being a mother of two children, being, you know, raising children in the city of Nairobi, single-handedly. My God, hallelujah. Let me tell you, my God, we are not ashamed of the scars. We are not, even if you bring the stones, we are ready for them. <laughs> 
We are not ashamed of where we are coming from. Before we knew it, we thought, my God, what is happening, God? Until we knew it's a process of making. Now bring me anybody, I'll handle them. Hallelujah. And my God, I cannot remember even a single day a man came to pay my bill. I cannot remember a single day a man made my hair. My goodness. Oh, Zikata Rama, handle of Ozia. My father in heaven makes my hair. My father in heaven pays my bills. Oh, Sharama, Zika, handle of Ozia. You know, my father in heaven has educated my children. My God, I'm not ashamed in the world because the Lord has done it for me. Hallelujah. He has educated my children. Let me tell you, wait, woman out there, wait on God. Wait on God. These things are in public domain. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. No man has paid my bills. <laughs> wow. Well, nobody, no man has left with me to pay more for my anything. My God. Hallelujah. My God has done it. My Father has done it. My God, hallelujah, that is God for you. That is God for you. So you can make it. No, you know, allow God to take you through his own process. Let me tell you, baby girl, live a holy life. Live a holy life. We are not ashamed. Live a holy life. Hallelujah. My God, some of us, we have never been helped by any man in our lives. <laughs> I even don't know my biological father. <laughs> so we have never been, you know, hallelujah, we have never been helped by any man. No man, nobody. Hallelujah. Oh my God. The people who say, woman oh of God, how can you live without a man? My God, when you surrender to the will of these bodies, how? Why are you asking me how? This is the temple of God. Why are you asking? The Spirit of God is a deposit in you. Hallelujah. And the Spirit of God controls this body. My God, hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. So God is, and David is saying here, and this is the kind of things we are going to hear. These are the kind of things we are going to hear. Let, let me tell you, my brethren, the Bible, you know, David is saying, I waited on God patiently. And the Bible says, David is confessing, and he has heard my cry. He has he cried to me. God brings us into such kind of a moment, and this is the moment we are in. If you do not compromise, and I'm speaking to the people, there's a ministry of reconciliation in us. If you have compromised my sister, my brother, my God, if you have lowered your God, kindly, quickly, quickly repent, quickly shut down, shut that chapter and quickly be reconciled back where you belong. Hallelujah. Because double-mindedness will not give you anything good. My God, hallelujah. And David is saying, and he heard my cry. God is hearing our cry now. And you know, the Bible says, and he also brought me out of the holy pit, out of the mighty clay. Hallelujah. And what is God doing to David here? He has set his, you know, and, and the Bible says, and he set my feet upon a lock. Lock is Jesus, hallelujah. And established my steps. This is what God is doing. He's giving us a standard that no man can give you. Rikatalamazi. Let me tell you, you give your body to a woman, you give your body to a man who is not your, you know, who you, and you are not in a marriage setup. My God, that is just down, you know, bringing you down. And it's not adding anything to you. My God, hallelujah. So God is, you know, setting our feet on a lock, you know, where we are going to enjoy our stability in this perverse and adulterous generation. And let me tell you, in that, God is establishing us. Hallelujah. My goodness. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, seven they say he has also put a new song so as we meet from this night my god this is going to be our testimony my sister i have a new song hannah is coming with a new song may is coming with her song miriam with the tablet is coming with her song and i'm asking myself where i'm sitting why how how is it that there's those women does it mean that you cannot do not need a son from hannah why, do, why is it not written the song of hannah and, and, and ericana <laughs> Why is not a song of Joseph and Mary? Why is not a song of our... Okay, Moses came up with his song, but now the beginning point was Miriam. Hallelujah. Why women? Women born as if you praise the Lord. <laughs> hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. Because why? It goes of the season. My God, hallelujah. So... The Lord has put, so this is the confession we are going to hear. These are the kind of testimonies we are going to hear from this day. My sister, God has put a new song in my mouth. I went to Shiro, a barren woman. Oh, by the time I'm going back home with my husband and the other part of the family, I have a new song. I have waited on God. I have been mocked and despised. I have been down to the upon. My God, what have I gone through? My juniors came, they received their promotion. 
portion. I have been left there, but you know, like that stone in the liver. Where you know that have you seen that stone in the liver? You no, know, the water is just passing all the ears, and the stone is just there. You know, it's only the water that is passing. Some of you in some of these offices, you have, you look like that particular stone. But let me encourage you this particular morning. You are there, the, the water will not pass over you anymore. My God, hallelujah. Because why God is putting a new song, a new song, and, and this song is not just a song, it is a song of praise to our God. Hallelujah. That means there's something God is accomplishing. There's something God is up to in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that many will see. It is for a testimony. David is saying here, many will see. Hallelujah. It is a testimony. God, I hear the Lord say, tell my people I am building a testimony for them. My God, God is building. God is building a testimony for us. The situations and the conditions and the circumstances that we, we have been we have been in, my God, the Lord is building a testimony for us. And from this night, there shall be a new song for our destinies in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. My God, so that people may see and fear, my God, and they are going to trust in the Lord. My God, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God. In the book of Psalm 124, Psalm 124, verse 2 to 5, you can also read Psalm 130, uh, verse 8. My God, what do you see? If it had not been for the Lord, this is uh, this uh, the other thing we are going to hear. If it has not been, you know, it, if it had not been, you know, the Lord who was on our side, my goodness, hallelujah. My God, can I say this in so he can interpret for the international community out there? <laughs> hallelujah. Kama buwana. Hey, wama buwana. Hallelujah. Mabuwana wa dunia. Wanaweza sahau. Kakini kama buwana. <laughs> Hange kuwa upanda wetu. My God. If it had not been of the Lord who was on our side. Hallelujah. When men rose against us, they would have swallowed us alive. My God. But the Lord has been on our side. My God. I hear the Lord say, I'm delivering my people from very straight and very difficult situations and circumstances. My God, hallelujah. Let me tell you, you will not die until it is time. My God, hallelujah. You will not lose your job until it is time. My God, there will be no demotion for the remnants of God's people. There will be no sickness. There will be no ailment. We are standing strong in this hour because why? My God, we are the carriers of the right growth. We are rejecting anything that is not the report of God in our now. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh my God, we are going to confess and it's not about us, but the Lord has been on our side in the name of Jesus. That's why when he made those against us, God has not given the, you know, given us up to their desires. My God, by the way, instead of that, God is giving men up for our sake, for our lives. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 3. My God, hallelujah. God has given us beautiful, you know, for ashes. God is giving us beautiful ashes. I'm giving you the confessions and the kind of things we are going to hear, the kind of utterances we are going to hear from now. My God, when you look at somebody, you don't have even to hear any testimony. You look at them, you look at their countenance, you look at their lives, and you're like, my God, my God, God has given this sister or this brother beautiful ashes. Hallelujah. The oil of gladness, my God, the oil of joy for mourning. So where there has been mourning, the oil of gladness, the oil of joy is coming where there has been, a, you know, that level of down, you know, of ashes, you know, beauty is coming. Hallelujah. You know, the, God is giving us a garment of praise for the spirit of, a, of, a, of, a, of a heaviness. Where there has been heaviness from this night, God is giving you the garment of praise. So if I were you, I would begin looking out for praise shoes. Hallelujah. My God, begin praising God in your bedroom. Put, put songs of praising the Lord anywhere. Those people who are driving out there, even if you are watching and you are driving, put a song of praising God. Hallelujah. Where there has been heaviness, begin praising God in the name of Jesus. My God. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that we shall be called the tree of righteousness. That is our name from now. The tree of righteousness. We are the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. My God. That's why I told us from the beginning, the season that God has brought us into, it is about his glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. My God. And uh, when God has done that in verse four of Isaiah chapter 61 verse 4 of that is so that we may rebuild. Why God is working on us is so that we may rebuild because why? We are the people who are going to pass 
over or to declare the works of God to our next generation. So God is working on us, dealing with us now, so that we can hand over the right battles to the generations of our children. Hallelujah. Psalms 23 and verse 3. God is the restorer of our soul. So these are the kind of things we are going to hear from this hour. He is the, the restorer of my soul, has restored my soul. You may have encountered brokenness, hitbacks and setbacks. My God, from the time some of us knew, a man or anybody in your life can change like a twinkling of an eye. My Jehovah God, you know, we have dependent on the restorer of our souls. My God, hallelujah. God is able, my God, you know, immediately and quickly to restore your soul for his own glory in the name of of Jesus. First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9. Somebody should be typing that. First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9. Hallelujah. The Bible is saying God is faithful by whom I am called into the uh, into the fellowship of his son Jesus Christ our Lord. So what we are going to hear much from this night is the faithful God. Ah, the faithful God. The faithful God. Not the faithful God of what you have read in the Bible but the faithful God who has proved to be faithful in your own personal life. Hallelujah. Now, the other thing we are going to hear, you know, you can read the word of God in the book of 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 9. You remember what the Bible says the things we have not seen, heard, or have entered in the heart of any man. These are the things that God has kept for those who love him. And Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 to 21 you know God God is able to do exceedingly abundantly my God hallelujah Isaiah chapter 14 verse 21 we see that people may see know and understand together this is the working of the Philippians chapter 4 and verse 19 my God God will supply all the needs my God so what we are the confession we are going to hear from all those scriptures is that God has done what is beyond my expectation my God, hallelujah, God has done beyond my expectation. I'm giving you the scriptural backup of, of the point. So we are going to hear the confession and the kind of testimonies we are going to hear. He has done beyond my expectation. Who would have said, you know, somebody like Sarah and Abraham, you know, at their old age, you know, that they, they would get a son. That is a fulfillment of the promise of God in their lives. This is beyond my expectation. I actually, I even helped myself, my God, and got another boy through a Hallelujah. This is beyond my expectation. Hallelujah. It does not matter, you know, how, you know, how, how, how near that the path has been or how many corners you have, you have hit, you know, in this walk of faith. Let me tell you in this hour, the restorer of our soul, Ari Kayanolobozia, is restoring us back to the path of righteousness for the sake of his name. Hallelujah. Because the, the Bible says, Jesus is saying, the people you gave to me, none of them, I know I never lost any. So, none of us is going to get to none of us will perish in the hands of wickedness hallelujah so the lord is going to do be old our expectation hallelujah i needed a million a million share god has given me a hundred million i needed just i know a hundred and by fifty you know plot of a, of a land god has given me four acres of land he is going to do be old our expectation hallelujah this i came to introduce you to that god who is able to do what no man can do he is doing beyond your expectation. And I hear the Lord say from this night, uh, no, you know, let, let your faith, increase your faith. Increase your faith. Hallelujah. You know, don't just believe what you had believed two years ago or a month ago. Hallelujah. Believe more. Believe more. Trust more in God. Have hope more in Him. Hallelujah. He's going to do beyond our, our you know, beyond our expectation in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The other thing you are going to hear much of much of this in the church of Jesus Christ. It is about Him. You know what has happened, my sister. It is about Him. It is for Him and by Him. Mazika, I am the Lord of Zaya. You know what, what? What is about this, my sister, my brother? I, you have no explanation. You have no explanation. Hallelujah. What happened? I don't know. It is by God. It is for Him, by Him, and in Him. Hallelujah. I am just there to fulfill the will and the purpose of God in my generation. In the name of Jesus. That's why John is saying the book of John chapter nine, John chapter three, and verse um, John chapter 3 and verse 30, you know, that I may decrease and that he may increase. Hallelujah. So uh, this one has nothing to do with me. My God, hallelujah. This season has nothing to do with me. This is what we see in the book of Acts 17 and verse 28. I read for you that, that scripture the other day. In him I move, live and have my being. Hallelujah. So it's about him. You know, we, we are owning up. I, I began by telling us, you know, from the beginning, from day one, that we belong to him. We, we know he owns us. 
us. He owns us. My God, hallelujah. So it's about him. You know, any connection God will give you. And I know that's why he has to quicken your spirit. If it is a connection connected to the destiny that God has purpose for you. You know, there's going to be a quickening. Because why? The season is about divine orchestrations. Hallelujah. So God is going to open your eyes to see something you had never seen before. God is going to open your ears to hear something you have never heard before. Because why? It's about the preordained purpose of God in our destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. So I want the church to know, even as I come to the cross this particular morning, Matthew chapter 6 and verse 10, let the will of, of God be done here on earth as it is ordained in heaven. Hallelujah. So we are bringing it down. We are bringing the will of God to our level. My God, hallelujah. So we are pulling it down. My God, hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. You know, the, 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 the bringing it down, maybe God is going to order your steps, your steps there where that the will of God is connected or where the will of God is supposed to be fulfilled in your life or God is going to bring you or, you know, bring those people, bring that, you know, bring that, you know, bring that idea, bring that connection and all that hallelujah so the thing here is you know we are bringing it down to our level so where it can tangibly be manifested in our now in the name of jesus so we are not operating with the will that is in heaven the will of god is being done here or not let your will be done here or not as here my god i know we are seated with the christ in heaven in places but down here the will of our father from this particular early morning, the first day of April, year 2024, the will of God is being done. My God, in your houses, the will, in our house, let me put myself there, in the lives of our children, in our ministries, in our dreams and in our visions, in your marriages, out there, you know, the will of God is being done from this morning. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We are not going to lead our own paths. This time around, we are saying more of you, Lord, more of you. Ah, I no longer live. My God. So we cannot speak like them. We cannot behave like them. Not my will, but let your will be done. Hallelujah. So I hear the Lord say that, the, you know, our spiritual gates are wide open. To, you know, to, we, we have become, you know, fully recipient of the season of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So God can do as he wills with our lives now in the name of Jesus Christ. And some of the things God is going to bring our way and some of the things God is going to accomplish in our way. We have never had such kind of an idea. Hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. Oh my God, we have testimonies. <laughs> I, I remember yesterday after church, you know, I went to educate something somewhere and I was just praying, you know, God opens my eyes. Wow, my God. It's not about now the confinement of our mentality. It's about the new thing that the Lord is doing. It's about the new thing that the Lord is doing. So let the will of God, even in your house this morning, as you listen to this word, let the will of God be done in the house as it is ordained in heaven. Let the not not as it is ordained in the, in my boss's office or in the in my father's house. No, as it is ordained in heaven. Because why? In the Bible says we are hidden with Christ in Him. So my God, Hallelujah! So everything about us is coming from Him. Because why? We are His sons. In the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Hallelujah! Now this is this is a time to totally surrender to His will, not our will. The Spirit of God is confirming that. Not our will, but let the will of God be done. My God, hallelujah. Not our will. Let me tell you, I told you from the beginning, if there's something God has done in this hour, is to give us soberness and calmness. Soberness and calmness. There are places we spoke. Now, if you appear, you cannot say anything. There are, there, there are things you, you know you did. This time, you, you can even the grace is not there. There are meetings you attend now. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Even if you saw the poster, there is nothing that is, uh, you know, that is arousing you from inside. My God, that excitement is not there. Because why? It is about the will of God now. And God is ordering our steps for his own glory in the name of Jesus Christ. When we look at the word of God in the book of Luke chapter 22 and verse, verse, verse 42, Jesus is is a green. Jesus is a green. And he's telling the disciples, I have overcome in the book of John. But here we are seeing Jesus. Yet the cup is bitter. The process I'm about to go through is bitter. My God, but it no, it is not my will. It is his will. And he's saying, Father, if it is your will, remove the cup. 
but not what I will, but let your will be done. And at the end of the day, we are celebrating Jesus today. And we are saying, you know, he has been given a name that is above any other name. He is seated on the right hand of the Father. By the way, he was restored back to his originality. That is where he was from the beginning. Hallelujah. That's where, that is where he was from the beginning. I told you in the book of Genesis, God is saying, let us make a man. In our own image. That's why God was addressing the, the three formations of him. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So Jesus was there from the beginning. So that was not a strange space you know, of, of a praise in him. I mean for him. That is where he, So that's why I told you yesterday, God is restoring us back to our originality. And as the Lord is doing this, he's restoring. And that originality is also, you know, is also bringing to us the things that are supposed to be, you know, in, in our lives. So the originality is also coming with the things, you know, coming with whatever and whoever. And that is supposed to be in our lives in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so uh, in the past few months, God has been clearing the space. Tell your neighbor, God has been clearing the space. Hallelujah. That's why you have noticed some people misbehaved. You know, some, some places, the grace got finished. You no longer feel it because God has been clearing the space for the new. Hallelujah. For the new. And you realize even as whatever happened, happened, it did not affect you from your inside. You know, initially we used to be so affected. You have sleepless nights when such a thing happened. Now, it, when it happens, it's as if it never happened. You know, because nothing happens, <laughs> because it is a season of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So in the book of John chapter 6, John chapter 6 and verse 37, John chapter 6 and verse, uh, verse uh, 37, Jesus is saying, you know, why he came from, uh, from, from the Father is so that he can do the work or he can accomplish the will of the Father. I, I'm, I did not come here of, on my own. I'm not here on my own. That is our Savior Jesus Christ. I'm not here on my own. I am here because of the preordained purpose of my Father. Hallelujah. And in the book of John chapter 4 and verse 34, we see Jesus is telling the disciples, I have food, all I have meat that you don't know of. My meat here is to do the will of the one who sent me and to finish his work. And I want the church to know that our work that is why Jesus hanging on the cross is saying it is finished. So he completed it. So we must now endeavor. Now, as we do, the people who are saying, all of us, we are saying, we are working, the, you know, we are doing the work of God. Let me tell you, the work of God is connected to his will. So what we are supposed to be getting hold of first is the will of God. When you get hold of the will of God, now you can do the work. Because it's about the will and then the work. Okay, um, my meat is to do the will of the one who sent me and to finish the work. So the will comes first. So we get hold of the will. Get hold of the will. Now that is the season we are in. Getting hold of the will in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So what is the Lord saying this particular morning? We have, we are regal. We are sons of God. So we are regal. We can transact the businesses of our father now. There is that stay where I'm, I'm going to show you. Number two, we are legitimate. Hallelujah. Number three, we are authentic. Number four, we are authorized. So we can we can sign. Hallelujah. We can sign. Oh, we can access the portal of our kingdom. Anytime. Anytime. Hallelujah. So in that, prepare yourself for unprecedented favor, unprecedented honor. Results that are going to be continuous from today, the first day of April. Results that are going to be continuous. Hallelujah. Solutions everywhere. My God. You encounter with somebody, they will even perceive and discern before even you speak about it. My God. I told you yesterday, there were so many men or neighbors that were in a, during the time of the, of the woman that was a widow of one of the sons of the prophet who had some debts. My God, hallelujah. Let me tell you, my God, a son of a prophet who left the, the, the wife with some debts. And you remember the story, how the story was. But now that there is a man who appears. There's a man who appears. And this woman perceives, I cannot continue going through pain when this man of God has appeared. Hallelujah. So we are carriers of solutions. Anywhere God is going to take us, we are carriers of solutions from today. Let me tell you, because of the unprecedented honor and favor, even in the family levels where they never valued you, my God, your prayers now will matter. 
your presence now will matter. Hallelujah. Even the people who never saw anything good coming out of your life, this time are because of the encounters God is giving us in this hour. Our presence will matter. Hallelujah. So repayment. Prepare yourself for repayment. And it is God who is repaying. Number, number, number five. Prepare yourself for remembrance. It is commanded of the Lord. The season, I hear the Lord say, the season is commanded of me. Hallelujah. The other thing is that prepare your house. Prepare your body. Prepare your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of uh, sorry, ma'am, it is well. Now you can go back to the word. The word is recorded even on YouTube. You can hear the word. Now the word is there. Now prepare yourself for a reward. Prepare yourself for a reward. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. Can I prepare you for this as I finish? Whew. The kind, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Hajj. Let me, can I say this, church? The rewarding of this hour. The rewarding of this hour is not on merit. The rewarding of this hour <laughs> is, on, is not on merit. And this one got born again earlier. This one has been doing this. This one has been doing this. It's about, it's about the condition of your heart. It's about the condition of your heart. It's about the purpose of God. Let me tell you, Samuel is sent in the house of Jesse. You know, on that we have merit. This one has been laboring. The promotion of this hour should be given to them first. Let me tell you, for this one, it's not on merit. It's not on merit. It's on God's purpose. It's on God's purpose. So, as Samuel goes to Jesse's house, actually, at one point, the people who rebuke us and condemn us, prophets, you did not see clearly. Let me tell you, prophet Samuel, an international prophet, you know, sees one of the sons and he's like, it is this one, my God. Then God stops him. He almost poured oil on him. And uh, God tells him, hey, Samuel, I don't look at what a man's look at. That means even if you are a prophet, you are still a man. Hallelujah. Your eyesight in this season was, was, was not okay. My God, hallelujah. And thank God because of the prompting of the Spirit of God in our lives. Hallelujah. My God, the Spirit of God causes us to sit back. Hallelujah. So, uh, and uh, God tells Samuel, I don't look at what men look at. I look at the heart. Let me tell you, men of God, prepare yourself. There is an usher by the door. I have one in my ministry. You know, you know let me tell you, there is an usher by the door. The person may not look like you know, they may not even look like whatever you think they should look like. But let me tell you, the season is not on merit. This one is a season of God. It is not on any merit. It is on purpose of God. It is about the purpose of God. And, and when, uh, when someone is asking, Jesse, is there another one? My God, hallelujah. Is there another one? Jesse is saying, yes, but he's in the grace fumes. My God, someone is saying, uh -uh, we shall not sit the honor, unprecedented honor, unprecedented favor. Zikata Ramahandolo Bozia. Hallelujah. Is there anyone left? These are the kind of things you are going to hear. Is there anyone left, my God, in the house of Saul, that I may show them the kindness of God? Hallelujah. It is not my season. It is about the kindness of God for this family. My God, hallelujah. My God, my God, hallelujah. Those, these are the kind of things we are going to hear. My God, Esther, somebody who does not even have an ID, you know, the nationality of this guy is questionable. You know, and this is why, why I'm saying, you know, people People who point fingers, ah, why, how, why, why, eh, eh, what happened? Can you know eh, this person? This is what people are trying to say. Julian Zacchaeus, he eh, eh, can doesn't he know? But how can he go to die with a sinner? My God, doesn't he know? Hey, blah, blah, blah. At one point, a woman was brought to Jesus, and I keep on asking. I keep on asking, was this woman committing adultery alone? Was she, was she mm -hmm, seriously? And people are just carrying the woman. Where was the man? Hey, hey, where was the man? <laughs> God laid her hand on the earth. The very earth. Was she doing it alone? And why are people taking the woman and leaving the man? Seriously speaking. Hey, hey. That's why I love women ministry. And I thank God I'm a woman. Now listen to this. Jesus bows down 
Hi, my goodness. And, and you know, I have always said, my God, Jesus is saying, I also came for you, woman. I, I came to seek and, uh, you know, to to, see, uh, to fight and to seek them that were lost. Woman, you have, they have brought you to the right, they, they have brought you to the right person. I did not come to condemn you. My God, they have condemned you, but I'm not here to condemn you. You can feel whatever Jesus was writing for this woman. My God, your life is becoming new. My God, I'm giving you a new life. I'm transforming your life. Woman, I love you. The kind of robots here. The man may have used you, but I have loved you. My God, with an everlasting love. And Jesus is saying, anyone among you who has never committed any sin, be the first one to cast the stone. My God. And by the time Jesus is finishing lighting the, story, the new story, ah, I hear the Lord say, Jesus was writing the new story of this woman who had been condemned by men. <laughs> Jesus is writing the new story. They, they, they denied you access to the, to the new office. They denied you the promotion. Jesus is writing the new story from this night. Hallelujah. My God, you are my heir. You are, you belong to me. Whatever, my God. You can put down whatever you want. You know, you think he's writing. Hallelujah. And at the end of the day, by the time Jesus is rising, the, the, the people with the robes, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the teachers of the law, people speaking in the tongues of angels, and even lift them, you know, closing their eyes and going out and doing whatever the gimmicks of the nowadays, and bottles of oil and the handkerchief. That some of them they are even laying their handkerchiefs on, on their heads so that the Holy Spirit, you know, their God can connect with the handkerchiefs. The Holy Spirit is no longer there. They, they must use the mantles of men. Now listen, my God, by the time Jesus is finishing, there is nobody there. Then Jesus is like, I also don't condemn you. That is not what I came for. I came to do the will of my father and to finish his work. And you are one who you are part of the work. Hallelujah. And then Jesus is telling the woman, go and see no more. My God, hallelujah. My God. So what, what is the Lord doing? What is God up to? What is God up to? My brethren, the season of the the season of the refined, where we are coming from, God has dealt with our characters. God has dealt with our habits, the traditions of our people. And as we have entered into a new man, my God, the second quarter of the year 2024, let me tell we shall enjoy the new and, and I hear the Lord say, I will now begin and, you know, entrusting my people with my heritage and my inheritance. Whew. So you can shake your neighbor for me, tell your neighbor, the faster you mature, the faster the release of your inheritance my god this is not about who who ordained you and who gave you a title my god it is it's not about all those things it's not on merit this one my god that's why god is telling moses i show favor to whoever i deserve to show favor my god this is god for you so even if somebody has disqualified you zip but shut up this is not your season this is a season of of, of a, a remnant of the house of Saul and the king of the nation. This has nothing to do with you. Hallelujah. Penina, continue mocking. By the way, there are people, even in your life, they think you are the usual and the ordinary. So they, they treat you the way they think they should treat you. Even now, even now, even some of you, you watching me and following me, it's just the usual girl, you know, speaking and uh, having sleepless nights in her life and ministering here. Let me tell you, my God, look at us and deal with us with the newness of the season. Because why? The season has shifted. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. The season has shifted and the season is favorable for the remnants of God's people. So, kindly, Genesis chapter 26, whatever you are supposed to do in that season, in that season, Isaac is, is planting. So do what you're supposed to do in this hour. The backup of heaven is there. The favor is there. The grace is there. Anything that is supposed to be adding anything, any value in your life, it is, you know, it is released, it is reachable, it is in our disposal for the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. So I'm preparing you again. I want to repeat this as a prophet. Woo, from the month of March. To the month of October this year. My goodness. My goodness. The kind of alignment <laughs> and the realignment that will come your way, you'll be shocked. And I hear the Lord say, if you're not very careful, 
you can get lost on the way because it is, it, you know the release is going to be too much from the prison uh, you, uh, uh, the change of garments appear before pharaoh Jehovah God, dreams are given by Pharaoh, and within a very short time, things happen like this. Ba, ba, ba. And you're like, my God, my God. Uh, you know, the, the people who still wait for the confirmation of men, you're going to lose it and miss it. Hallelujah. So tighten, tighten your spiritual belt and your prophetic belt. Flex your, your spiritual muscles, because let me tell you, woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. My God, hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. You know, I, I, I'm tempted to minister to the lives of people today. <laughs> so, kindly, my brethren, let, let us be ready. Let, let us be ready. Let us be ready. From this morning, be ready for what God has been preparing for you. And not only that, be ready for the will of God that it may bypass or surpass what you have been taught or what you have heard about your life. Because why? What the eye has not seen, what the ear has not heard, what has not entered into the heart of any man, these are the things that God has kept for us who love him. Ooh, hallelujah, my God. Ooh, and let me tell you, hallelujah, if there be anybody, if there be anybody, my God, my seat is becoming hot. I feel like studying, but I can't study because of the cameras of the gadgets I'm using. Listen to this. My feet are hot. <laughs> now listen to this. Stephen, you remember that prophetic word on YouTube? Remember that prophetic word? Now listen to this. Now listen to this. Anybody, if there be anybody, ah, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Zikata, allow me to generally just minister for, for two, three minutes. If there be anybody, locally and internationally, in your life, who is holding anything that is meant to be for your life from this night? God is denying them lest until they locate you. And let me surprise you. You are going to receive some private calls. Ah, she cut a robot here. You are going to receive some private numbers. Private numbers. I'm preparing you to some private numbers. The people who like me who don't receive private calls. You are going to receive, you know, hidden numbers. Hidden numbers, private calls. And somebody will speak a language and say, God gave me your number yesterday night. That is a season we have just, just entered into. A season, a season of the miraculous. A season of the miraculous. Let me tell you, my God. Hey! Miraculous, my God, God, you know, like the wise men and the shepherd, Mary has not looked for them, but God is speaking to them, and they are calling good, the fractionists and all those things, they are calling the gifts, and my God, they could not open those gifts before Herodi, they could not open them, because why, my God, even the star that was leading them disappeared, my God, hallelujah, because why, that the star was not meant for Herodi, it was meant to lead the guys to go where the baby had been born, hallelujah, let me tell you, Anything, anything in the past days where we are coming from, there has been a lot of hijacking, diversion, di di you know, destruction and all that. This time, the path towards our destiny is very clear. And this is the working of God himself for his own glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, hey, my God, hallelujah. So can you, can, can you clear the space even of your wardrobe? Can you clear the space? Can you, my, my, uh, my hallelujah, can, can we clear the space of our wardrobes? Whatever is not needed there, can you clear from this morning in your kitchen? Whatever is not needed, can you clear? Because let me tell you, people will come calling, you know, hard bags, shoes, my God, designer suits, my God. And you are like, my God, who told you my size? It's not about anybody introducing nothing. Nobody is introducing Zacchaeus to Jesus. The Bible says when Jesus you know, got there, he called him Zacchaeus, come down. Zacchaeus, come down. Hallelujah. Jesus does not need the introduction of any man. He knows my name. Woo! He knows my everything. You can sing the song. Hallelujah. So that is it. So that is the season we have entered into by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. So I decree this morning and declare, hallelujah, my God, that anything, anybody, and any place, 
that is connected to the preordained purpose of God in each of our destinies from this particular morning. My God, the new is hitting our destinies. The new is hitting our destinies. Wow, great harvest and great reward. Great harvest and great reward. Great harvest and great reward. Great harvest and great reward in the name of Jesus. Great harvest and great reward. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. My goodness. Hallelujah. Kaidre, if you need me to speak to you, like today, I, I feel grace in the, in the not feeling. <laughs> I am graced today. I am graced today to minister to person. I mean to individuals. You can you can inbox me and minister to your life today. I, there is that leading of the spirit of God. If you need a word from the Lord, inbox me. I don't want to tarry here more because of time. You know, inbox me. I'm not going to sleep. Inbox me and minister to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I have done for the ten days. I have done what the Lord wanted me to do. I have done. I have delivered the word of God as he, I mean, as he gave it to me. Hallelujah. So the word is in your domain. Deal with it as the Lord and the Spirit of God is going to help you. Hallelujah. I have poured out. I have poured out. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Woo! I have nothing left. I have poured out. I have poured out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Wow, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I have forward out church. I have forward out. God bless you. I want to leave that. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah.